Sigma males are different from the other kids. They are sharp and analytical, and they tend to note slight changes in the people and their environment. Because they are different, they are often left alone and are misunderstood by the crowd. Today, we are going to look at the childhood struggles of a Sigma male that makes him so different from most people. But before we dive into it, please remember that we make these videos for free for your entertainment. And all we ask in return is that you click the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on. He is seen differently because he lives more inside his head. From a younger age, Sigma males are more mature and intellectual than their peers. They have an ability to grasp difficult concepts and they possess a high IQ. But this ability of the Sigma males is seen as concerning by their parents. Even though their parents are impressed by how intelligent their child is, at the same time, they feel he is not normal and he needs to be more like the other kids. This is a reason why Sigma males keep all their theories and fantasies inside their heads. They feel isolated from the world and are not comfortable sharing anything with anyone because people try to mend their thinking the way they like and do not appreciate them for their originality. Even their peers make them feel weird and difficult to understand. From a young age, Sigma males know what being pushed aside feels like because they have experienced everyone trying to change them and make them feel left out. He is misunderstood for his curiosity and visions. Sigma males are always fascinated by the workings of things around them. They like to dive deep into research and discover new things. They are naturally curious and like to ask questions and have constructive arguments and discussions on various matters with people so they can add something valuable to their knowledge and expand their learning. But being inquisitive and curious is not always appreciated by the people around them. Even as children, Sigma males are intrigued by things. They like to ask questions, and they don't just simply accept what someone older is telling them. For a Sigma male, having a conversation where you disagree with the other person or you ask counter questions is not seen as something insulting. It is seen as a way to expand knowledge, but other people don't see it this way. Their teachers and parents try to shut them down because they always ask questions and do not blindly accept the answers. Sigma children are considered rude or direct, but actually, they are just trying to improve their skills and knowledge. Their parents ask them to follow whatever the authority figure tells them to without question, which they simply cannot do. It is very depressing for someone not to be himself, just because others don't want him to. Sigma males struggle a lot as children because they have to satisfy their thirst for learning along with keeping up with the pressure from their teachers, parents, and peers to go with the flow. He is pushed to follow the authorities. Sigma males don't like to follow people in charge just because they have been given authority and have power. They are suckers for logic and reasoning and just obeying someone and going in their direction is not something they like to do. As children, they struggle to follow their teachers and parents just because they are older and have the authority to command their behavior. Sigmas don't mind telling people they are wrong when facts and logic state the flaws in their point or action. They like to debate with the people in charge so they can understand how authority, judgments, and rules work. Their teachers and parents are often offended by this, but it's just part of their learning process, and they can't help it. Sigma males always look for rationale. They don't follow the norms and values of society that have no meaning to them. They respect norms that have some meaning behind them, but just following something because others are doing it is not a part of their personality. As children, they face a lot of criticism for trying to go in the opposite direction of society. They are even treated harshly so they will comply with the existing values. Have you experienced this, where someone asks you to follow something, but you know it's not right? If you have been in a place like this, what did you do? Tell us in the comments. He is made to blend in with people. One of the most striking Sigma male characteristics 
is staying alone and spending time connecting with the inner self. Sigma males like to do their favorite thing in their alone time, instead of going out and spending time doing pointless things with others. As children, too, they have a knack for staying alone and focusing on the things that intrigue them. In some cases, Sigma males have extroverted parents who always try to make them be around many different people. They try to make their child blend in, so they take him out to social gatherings and introduce him to people who are not like him. Sigma males don't connect with everyone, and going into a crowd where they don't have someone intelligent and interested in the same things as them makes them feel left out and alone. Staying alone by choice doesn't mean Sigma males have no friends, or that they live in a cave all their lives. They do have friends, and they like to spend time with them, but being around them all the time is not their thing. When they feel like reconnecting with their true compass, they detach themselves from others. Their peers sometimes take this as a sign of them not being interested in spending time with them, so they make a big issue out of it. They don't realize it has nothing to do with them. It's just a Sigma thing. He is bullied and mistreated. Sigma males are different. There is no doubt about this, but our society doesn't accept different. It labels different and unique people as outcasts and weird. One of the struggles of Sigma males during their childhood is adjusting to the level of their peers. Sigma males don't share the same understanding and interests with their classmates. They are not wired to fit into the mold shaped by society, and that's why their peers bully them and tease them. Sigma males see people their own age as superficial, shallow, and lacking perspective. But the majority of their peers are alike, and they alone have to live with the deviant label. Children bully them, make fun of their habits, and even call them weirdos. The structure of schools, especially elementary schools, is designed in a way that the teacher has to look after the needs of the majority. Sigma males are often left out because their teachers do not understand their unique personalities because there are not many like them. Have you been bullied in your school for not being like the rest of the kids? Did you tell anyone? And if you did, what happened? If you're comfortable sharing, please feel free to post about it below. He puts too much pressure on himself to do everything perfectly. Sigma males like to do everything perfectly. They put extra effort and hours into the projects they are assigned, even if it's just an essay or a work of art. They have so many high expectations from themselves that they don't give themselves space to relax and chill. They want to do their best and spend a lot of time perfecting their ways and work. A young Sigma male is very hard on himself because he has high hopes and aspirations for the future. When everyone else his age is enjoying, partying, and wasting time, he is the one in the corner with a book or in front of his computer researching. He doesn't give himself a break, which is very overwhelming for a child. The Sigma males also don't open up to others, and they have to bear the pressure of their academics alone. As a result of not sharing, all the stress and anxiety gets bottled up inside them. They keep working hard, but it is not healthy at all. He is compelled to talk about his emotions. Sigma males are experts when it comes to logic and reasoning, but emotions and feelings are not their strong suit. They will spend time with you discussing the trends of a business, marketing strategies, and ways to improve the organization's hierarchy, but as soon as you bring emotions into a conversation, they start to feel suffocated. Even as children, Sigma males don't like to talk about their feelings. They like to be quiet about them, and they prefer keeping their feelings private. They show resistance when emotions are brought up, and when parents see this, they try to talk to them. The more you try to talk to a Sigma about their emotions, the more guarded they become. As Sigma males grow up, they are often misjudged for being emotionless. People start getting the impression that they don't feel anything, and are as cold as ice. But that's not true. Sigma males feel things like normal children, they just don't like to discuss them. It's just their personality. Sigma males are not like the majority of children. 
they have a unique set of traits that set them apart. They start struggling in different personal and social areas of their lives from a very young age. They are often misunderstood by others and judged for being different. Their parents and teachers compel them to act normal like other kids. No pressure should be put on children if they are different. Instead, different should be normalized so that any child can adjust to the environment around them. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and press the bell icon so you can be notified every time we post a new video. Keep enjoying our content by clicking the video on the screen. See you next time!